is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Tots Wrestling and today I am bringing you my WWE Backlash 2020 predictions video. Let's get right into the first match. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so before we get into it I just want to say that I will be watching and reacting to Backlash live, so expect reaction videos. Anyways, the first match is between Jeff Hardy and Sheamus. I have got Jeff Hardy winning this match. Um, there isn't too much to say. They're trying to build a quite a big story around this. Obviously, the whole hit and run angle um, and just stuff that's been going on. They're trying to build a little feud, um, and I just see Jeff Hardy winning. You know, he's. I know they've both recently come back, but I think the whole you know um, pandemic situation sort of killed it for Sheamus because he came back after these big vignettes, you know, beat up some short people and then now he's sort of just there again. Uh, but Jeff Hardy's only just come back, so I'm going to give the W to him. Moving on. Next up, we have the brand new United States champion, Apollo Crews. Finally, finally, he wins a championship, taking on the former champ, Andrade. And there's been rumours that we're getting a new US championship. I've been hearing these rumours for about three years now. Uh, the US title has had so many different rumours about a championship design. Uh, that's why I haven't reported on them, because I know how frequent they've been. Uh, but if it does happen, I think it's going to stay on Apollo Crews. And, well, either way, I think Apollo Crews is retaining. He's only just won, for Christ's sake. Apollo Crews to win. Next up, we have the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships being defended by the brand new champs Sasha Banks and Bayley, taking on the Iconics and then the former champions Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. I'm not really too fussed about this match. The, uh, the Women's Tag Team Championships get treated as a prop. Um, they literally... They, they've fallen flat, haven't they? And they're on their inaugural champions again. But I think Sasha and Bailey will eventually feud, but I know WWE are probably holding it off until they have a crowd again. So I think that for now, uh, it's going to stay on them, Sasha and Bailey to retain. Next up, we have the Raw Women's Championship match, Asuka versus the Human Wrecking Ball, Nia Jax. Nia is one of a, well, I don't even, I can't really give a proper opinion about her. Uh, I thought she was all right, but the amount of injuries she's given people recently, she should not be in the championship picture at all. I've got Asuka retaining. If they put the belt on Nia, people are going to be pissed. Yeah, Asuka to retain. So I'm sure you're all starting to see a pattern here with this pay-per-view. Um, and next up, we have the second match that I'm looking forward to the most, surprisingly enough. The build-up has had me in hysterics. I think it's been absolutely fantastic. It is the Universal Championship match between the champion, Braun Strowman, in a handicap match against the challengers, Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Let's go. So Miz and Morrison taking on Braun Strowman, obviously, Strowman is winning, uh, but I just I love John Morrison, man, and the Miz with John Morrison is fantastic. I love the duo together. Uh, I love what they've been doing on SmackDown, but unfortunately, I have to go with Braun retaining. But hopefully, hopefully these two are still getting like not main event spot, uh, but you know they're still being pushed quite a fair bit because I love them together. And finally, we have the final championship match. It's not going to be main eventing. Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley. Now, I've heard rumours, and once again, they are rumours. You can't trust everything you read on the internet. Um, I've heard rumours that they want to do, WWE want to do Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Which makes me think, really? Are they going to take the title off of Drew this soon? No chance. If they are doing that match, I don't think the belt needs to be involved. Drew McIntyre is fantastic as WWE champion so far. Absolutely loving it. Drew McIntyre to retain the championship. So there you go, ladies and gents. I don't predict a single title to change hands. So, WWE have sort of had the titles as an afterthought for this pay-per-view. Let's get into the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event, or what I can only assume to be the main event, the greatest wrestling match ever. Randy Orton versus Edge. The Viper versus the Rated R Superstar. The Apex Predator, the Legend Killer versus the Ultimate Opportunist. Who is going to win? Edge. But let me 
just say one thing. Don't expect this to be the greatest wrestling match ever. There is a lot of pressure, a lot of unnecessary pressure that is going to go on to Edge and Randy Orton going into this match that is not ideal. I really would not want to be them in this situation. You know, wrestling matches get called the greatest wrestling match ever. Normally, after they've happened, look at Taker Michaels, for example. That wasn't, that wasn't even the main event of WrestleMania 25. And that was, in my mind one of the greatest matches of all time. But all matches are different. It's all down to perception. Um, but go into this expecting just a normal Edge Randy Orton match. Obviously be excited because technically this is Edge's first wrestling match in nine years. I know they did the match at WrestleMania, but like, you know, that was long, dragged out and they spent about 10 seconds in the ring. This is Edge's first like in-ring one-on-one normal match in nine years. So be excited but don't go in expecting for it to be the greatest match ever because if you're not expecting it, you will enjoy it more. The lower your expectations, the more enjoyment you're gonna get out of it. But either way, I'm going with Edge to win. This might be a bit of a tricky one considering Edge won at WrestleMania, but I've got Edge winning, so we shall see. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my WWE Backlash 2020 predictions video. Once again, I will be watching the entire show live. Uh, this is sort of one of them filler shows. I'm, you know, I'm not too excited for it. There's like three matches I'm excited for. Um, but other than that, it's not going to be a bad show. Um, like, I, it's not going to be terrible. It probably, it's literally just a filler show. You know, there hasn't been a pay-per-view in a few like weeks uh, since WrestleMania. So I'm just looking forward to sitting down and watching wrestling live again. Uh, but yeah, let me know your predictions in the comments section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Once again, Backlash reactions will be up as soon as the pay-per-view finishes. I will try and get them all up literally within like a couple hours after the show finishes. Um, but yeah. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you at Backlash.